Well, tomorrow is National Deep Dish Pizza Day, so it's the perfect time to get ready for a pizza party. I'm all for starting a day early yeah. with this one. Michelle Oliver is here to share with us what's on the menu for Takeout Tuesday. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Hobie. Well, we know pizza comes in all different varieties, and today we're talking about a family-owned place that's incorporating South Asian flavors into his pizza. We have Kershed Ahmed and Akil Ahmed here today. They are the father and son behind Amar Pizza. Welcome to the show. Hi, Michelle. And good to see you again. Mm -hmm. I've actually Likewise. been out to visit these guys for a while. Mm -hmm. So first, Kershed, what are some of the traditional Bangladeshi flavors that you're infusing into the pizza? How are you doing this uh, fusion? Okay, uh, Bangladeshis uh, enjoy spicy curries, uh, tandoori dishes, and uh, fish also. So yes. with that in mind, I came up with some sauces, and those sauces are what I use to make my pizzas Bangladeshi infused. Nice. Are they um, a little on the spicier side? Are they kind of... Yeah, they're, they're definitely spicy, but um, we... The tandoori is a little bit sweeter, so mm -hmm. that's not as spicy. But the ghost pepper and the dry fish is very spicy. Yeah, they come in they come in ranges. We, yeah. So Akil, can you walk us through the different types of pizza that you guys offer? And we'll start over here with this one. Yeah, that one is the ghost. That's one of the most spicy options we have. Um, for people that are too intimidated by that spice level, we have uh, a naga pizza. It's very similar, just a little bit like a level down. You know what I'm saying? That's generally what yeah. I order when I go there. <laughs> um, that one in front of that is the dry fish. That one is some of the fish flavors he was talking about. Um, next to that is tandoori. That one has uh, the tandoori spices that he was talking about, uh, tandoori chicken and red onions, and that pink sauce on there. Uh, that's the tandoori sauce. That's the flavors he was talking about. The Philly steak, that's one of my favorites. Nice. Um, the meat lover has all halal beef, pepperoni, ground beef, sausage, and bacon. And this is our vegetarian uh, that has fried eggplant on it and broccoli, which are two customer favorites. I really like the fried eggplant because that's something, it is, it's just yeah. a little different and it adds a little bit of crunch and texture yeah. to the, to the mm. top. So Kershed, you're going to show us how to make your Detroit deep dish pizzas. I see two here, which means I'm gonna get on this too. <laughs> uh, so can you walk me through it? Yeah, let's, let's All right. make some deep dish pizzas. Yep. Grab and them. we washed our hands before this. Yes, we did. And we have, how long did you guys have this uh, sitting out for? Um, this, well, we keep it at, uh, in the refrigerator. Yeah. Uh, um, we don't really have, we prep our dough a day ahead. That's what I, yeah, sorry, that's what I was trying mm -hmm. to get at, is that it takes a little while for it to grow yeah. into yep. this nice fluffy dough. Yep. So, yep. And so we're going to press this dough in. Mm -hmm. We're going to lift it up okay. just to get it off. Okay. Yep, it's gonna snap. yep. Okay. and then press it down, and now we're gonna press it into a square. You wanna work the center first. Center this way. first. Yep. So that it goes out, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. It's been a minute since I've made one of these. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't mind, a, do you mind a couple of bubbles like I'm seeing form here, uh, or is that like just no, part of the yeah, beauty of the crust? Yeah, it'll be fine. All right. So we're gonna pinch the corners. Pinch the corners up to the side. Yep. You want it all the way to the edge. There we go. And then here. Yeah. I, I lift it a little bit like, or yeah, you could do that too. Pull it a little bit. Yep. And so why is oil so important for this? Uh, the oil has a higher heat tolerance opposed to butter, so it can, it'll can it fry the dough. Nice. So that's kind of what gives you that really crispy crust that's very signature to Detroit style yeah, pizzas. Yep. Yeah. All right, so I think we have it yeah. fairly well. Yours that's, is better than that, mine. But it'll work. Okay. It'll work. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so then so, what do we do? Then we're gonna sauce it. All right. You want? Yeah, I'll take some out, and I see hungry people moving over here. So what else do we do? Can you walk me through the last few steps? So after we sauce it, we're going to go sauce all the way to the edge. All the way to the edge. That's key for Detroit style pizza yep. too. If you're not going to put the sauce on top, you got to get it to the edge. Because it's like, it's, it smells amazing over here. Just Doesn't enjoying. it really? Hobie is here to taste test and I'm here <laughs> to support. I like that. So Hobie, do you have your eye on any particular pizza that you want to try? The I tandoori think, one looks pretty I good. I say, why don't you grab a slice of that tandoori okay. one? Okay. And then we're gonna just top this one with cheese and pepperoni. Yep. Right? Yep. And we're when we when we do the cheese, it's very important to go all the way to the edge, because because you, you, yep because you want to you want that cheese to melt into the crust. Nice. And that also gets you that. That's why the corner pieces are so valued. 
Yeah, that is yeah. serious business. Mm -hmm. Can we just talk about how this tomato sauce smells amazing? Doesn't I it? I just had to put that it's, out there. Thank yes. you, it's homemade. Yes. It's, yeah, you, you, you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> That's for so sure. So how many sauces do you make? Um, we make a tandoori sauce, a fish sauce, ghost pepper. Um, the naga? Is the naga. We make a garlic sauce also for our Mediterranean pizza, which wow. is not here. Um, so it's not like you're just doing a tomato sauce and right. then like maybe a white or olive oil sauce mm, right. to go with it. You're yeah. making a variety of Variety, yeah. Wow. That's, that's, what, uh, that's how we make the Bangladesh. Yeah, how is yeah. it? Yep. And then, I knew he was going to say that. I just, I, I right? came over just to live vicariously through Hobie it's right It's so now. different, isn't it? Okay. And then can you please tell us where you guys are located and how people can yeah. find more information? Uh, we're in the city of Hemtramck, uh, 12195 Justicapo Street. Um, you can find us online at amarpizza.com or through social media at amarpizza underscore Hemtramck. Nice, thank you. And we're finishing up our pizzas. Hobie, mm -hmm. you enjoying it? Delicious, because, and, and I will tell you this, it's great that you take something that's so familiar to people here in the Detroit area with yeah. this style of pizza, but then add your own touch to it yeah. to make it unique, to make it something different. This is very true. It smells amazing. It's special. I, I know opening yeah. day is coming up here in Detroit, but this is a home. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah.